Earthworks, and welcome to a video. Um, this is how to build Foxtrot, and um, yeah. So here are the things you need. You need these instructions, which should be on my website. Um, I had to do a bit of edit, so obviously I'll hop up to that. But um, here's a ruler. You need some gray duct tape, some black duct tape, some cardboard. Um, kind of like awkward, like tealish, gray, um, green or blue, whatever you want to classify it as. Um, a black marker pen and pencil and that's basically it so yeah let's get to the first step but before then you're also going to need a pair of scissors so now you're going to copy these instructions onto a piece of cardboard and then cut it out so the first thing you're going to do is actually make the body of foxtrot minus top spikes also i need to mention um so i made a war what was this face um so I made a falcon, and falcon, I did not realize I actually had two drums. I probably would have seen that if I hadn't read what its weapon was on the Bad Watch website. But anyway, I did not realize that falcon has two drums, so I'll probably have to make a how to update your falcon video, so yeah. Anyway, back to what we're going to be doing. So the first thing you're going to do is take some tape and attach it right here. Then you're going to take one of these pieces, and you're going to attach it to the side like so. Then you're going to... Um, just bend over your tape, like so, and then if you, since, um, now you're going to take some more tape, you're going to cover this side with it, like so, and since there is some tape going off, you're going to want to cut that off, so you're going to take some more tape, and you're going to attach it, like so, to here, you're then going to take your piece of cardboard and attach it to here, like so, there you go. And you're gonna wrap it over, and the same rule always applies in my videos. If you can, if you don't have a long enough piece of tape, just use a second piece of tape. Then you're gonna cut this piece off. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing with these pieces. Practically the same thing. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but there's some background noise. So um, sorry about that. But anyway, so we have that done. Now you're gonna take um, whichever one. You're just gonna turn it over like so. You're gonna take some more tape. So you're gonna take said tape. You're gonna attach it like so. You're then going to take said tape and attach it to here. You're then going to um, um, basically just fold this up and bring down your tape. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Practically the same thing. So then you're going to take some tape and you're going to attach it to here like so. Now this is just to actually reinforce the um, inside of the robot. Basically you're going to take this piece and you're going to attach it to here like so. Then you're gonna fold this over, and then you're gonna take some more tape, and you do, and you're gonna do the exact same thing on the inside, like so. Well, practically the exact same thing. Then you're gonna do practically the exact same thing on this side. Now, if your cardboard does go over like this, you're just gonna cut it off. So you want it to line up with this piece. Then you're gonna take some a small bit of tape, and you're just gonna attach it like so. Then you're gonna fold this over here, and then you're just gonna bend it inwards to here like so then you take some more tape you're going to take some tape you're going to attach you're going to attach it like so you're going to bend this in like so you're going to take some more tape you're going to take you're going to take that tape and you're going to attach it like so then you're going to bend it inwards like so then you're going to take some more tape so then you're just going to take that tape and you're going to attach and you're going to attach it like so then you're going to bend it like so in to here and then you're now you're going to take even more tape you're going to take that piece of tape and you're just going to attach it like so to here, about there. You're going to take that and you're just going to attach it to the bottom around here like so. You're then going to bend it up and you're just going to fold it down. Like so. Then you're going, then you're going to do the exact same thing on all three of the other corners. Practically the same thing. So then you're going to take this piece and you're just going to attach some tape like so to it. And then you're just going to attach that piece of tape to the bottom right here. Then you're going to bend it up and you're just going to fold down your tape like so. You're going to do the exact same, you're going to do practically the same thing on all three of the other side pieces, area, side piece areas. Now you're going to take some, now you're going to take some more tape and you're just going to attach it like so to here. Then you're just going to attach it to one of the corner pieces like so in the corner piece areas and then you're gonna bend your tape down like so and then you're just gonna do that here here and here 
Now you're gonna take some more tape and you're just going to attach it like so. Then you're gonna go then you're going to attach it to the bottom piece like there. Like so. Then you're just gonna bend down a tape piece. Now you're, now you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Practically the same thing. Now you're gonna now you're going to take some tape and you're just going to attach it here. And you're going to attach it to here, and then you're going to attach it to here. Now, now you're going to take even more tape, and you're going to attach it to here, and then to here, like so. And then wrap any ta extra tape you have hanging off. Take some more tape. Take said tape and attach it to around here, and then you're just going to attach it here, like so. Then you're going to take some more tape. You're going to take that tape, and you're just going to attach it right about right here. You're going to bend it into here, and you're just going to attach it to the rest of here. Then bend in any more tape, or cut it off. Take some more tape and attach it right here, and then you're just going to attach it to this corner piece. Then wrap it over here if you can. Obviously, if you can't, just take a second piece of tape. That always works. Um, another thing I forgot to say. Um, actually, I'll mention this later on. But um, so anyway, you're just going to attach it to here. Then you're going to bend this a bit back if you need to, because it's bending in a bit. And then you're just going to attach it to here, and then over to here. Again, bend in any tape or cut it off. Take some more tape, and you're just going to not end up accidentally bending your tape onto other tape and you're just going to attach it to here to here and to here like so then you're going to take even more tape you're going to take said tape and you're just going to attach it to here and then bend it over to here like so so now you're starting to get this kind of shape of um foxtrot there and take some more tape you're going to take that tape and you're going to, you're going to attach it like so then you're going to take that tape and you're just going to attach it to one of the sides like so lining it up without getting any crumples in it and on the tape you're just gonna bend it down now and make sure everything fits then you're gonna take some more tape you're, you're gonna take that tape and you're just gonna attach it to here somewhat like that and then you're just gonna take it down the tape like so then you're going to take even more tape. You're, go you're going to take that tape and you're just going to attach it to the middle area. You're just going to attach this to the middle piece. Then you're going to take more tape. You're going to go to the opposite side and do it to and do the exact same thing to the middle piece practically. So um, if you want, you can do the other sides, but you really won't need to since it's pretty nice at that point. So you're just going to take turn it over like so. And now let's make the flipper. So to start making the flipper, you're going to need these pieces for like the front piece of the flipper. So now you're going to take some tape. You're going to attach it like so to here. You're then going to take the tape and not break it off. You're going to take the tape somewhat. Uh, so you're going to attach the tape like somewhat like this. And then you're just going to take the tape and wrap it over if you can or not use a second piece of tape. Then you're going to take some more tape. You're going to take that piece of tape. You're going to attach it like so. Um, you're going to attach it to here like so. Something like that. You're going, you're going to take your tape. You're going to wrap it over like so. Um, or something like that. Whenever I say so, it's somewhat like that, obviously. Because um, you're obviously not going to do the exact same thing. So then um, you can kind of bend this. And you're, then you're going to take even more tape. You're going to take the tape and you're just going to, going to attach it to the top of the triangle and downward. Then you're go, then you're going to take that the triangle and attach it to about the snout, somewhat like this. Then you're going to bend over the tape if you can. Otherwise, just use a second piece of tape. And then you're going to take some more tape. You're going to take your piece of tape. You're going to attach it to here. Um, then you're going to attach it and you're going to fold it over or use a second piece of tape so um you're starting to make the shape of the actual headpiece like so then you're going to take more tape you're going to take your tape and you're just going to attach it like so to about here 
then you're going to bend in this piece, and then you're going to bend this piece as well. So then you're just going to hit your tape onto about here, then you're going to bend in your tape. A bit like so. Um, one second. Then you're going to take your tape and bend in your pieces somewhat like this, so it's like this now, the head. Then you're going to take um, the other pieces. And the first thing you're going to do is take this little square, and you're just going to tape these onto here, and then you're going to bend these upwards, like, so, so you kind of have this kind of frame. Then you're, t then you're going to take some more tape. You're going to take that tape, and you're just going to attach it, like, so to one of these little pieces. You're going to take that piece, and you're going to attach it to one of the angles here. Then you're going to bend this piece as well as this one, and you're going to attach this to here. Um, then you're going to take this, then you're going to use the other pieces and you're just going to attach them all over here. Now before we even, so now before we attach the flipper, because I did, um, oh, I forgot to show this, so, basically, um, you might have to add an extension, possibly, but you're just going to add the head onto the flipper and yeah. Anyway, um, before we attach this, so this is easier to do, you're just going to add these little spikes onto the, um, actual body at an angle like so. So I'm gonna be back once I'm done with that. So now that the spikes are on, then you're just gonna take your flipper piece and you're just going to attach it where you want it to be, and then you're just gonna take a piece of tape, you're going to attach it on top of the flipper, then you're going to wrap it down like so. Then you're gonna lift up the flipper and take it, do it like that. Then you take some more tape. Take said tape, attach it like so to here, and then just bend it down. So now it can go down like so. Um, I'll be back. So, um, that's Foxtrot done. Um, I have a couple complaints. First of all, these should be colors of wheels. Um, this doesn't go completely to the ground. This is a bit too short, I say, and this piece is kind of tall. But other than that, I think it looks pretty nice. So this is Foxtrot, guys. Um, flipping power-wise, um, I don't actually, I don't actually know. Let me grab a bot. Oh. Was I not filming? I'm so confused, but here's fo Fox Strike Flipping Falcon. So pretty far, actually. Let me grab a heavier bot. Um, so here's Black Dragon. So nice flip. So pretty nice. So pretty nice flipping power. And so um, thank you for watching this video. I like it is kind of tall the top piece, but other than that, I I and I kind of like the design. So I really I kind of like Fox Truck. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.